So, you need to access Skyward. Let's start by getting to the login page of Skyward. Now, there are two easy ways to do this. The first is from the school website. And the second is assuming you're on a school-issued Chromebook, such as the one that you use for class every day, you can go to the bookmarks bar. Now, for option one, you'll start by going to a new tab and opening up the school website. From there, you will click on Family Access, and that will take you to the login of Skyward. Option two, you will also start by opening a new tab, looking at the bookmarks bar, and clicking that LHS folder up at the top. That will create a drop-down for you where, you guessed it, you'll click on Skyward, which will take you to the login of Skyward. Now here's a quick recommendation of mine. Once you get to the login of Skyward, you should hit that star up at the top. That will save the login of Skyward as a bookmark for you. That way you will never have to do options one or two again. And then that will just save you time as Skyward will be located on the bookmarks bar. Now, let's say you forgot your login ID or you don't have it. Assuming you're a new student, this ID is, the is in the letter that came into your Chromebook. You can also get this ID by the email that was sent from the school near the start of the year. Your parents can also get this ID via their own family access of Skyward. And if you have a student ID, this student ID can be accessed via your student ID card. Or, if all else fails, you can always call your counselor and they will be sure to provide you with your student ID. The student ID is the default username for Skyward. Now, let's say you forgot your password. There are two things you can do for this. The first is, again, assuming you're a new student or you've never changed your password before, it is in the letter that came with your Chromebook. And option two, unfortunately, you'll have to go through the forgot your login or password process to attain it in Skyward. But once you have your password and your login, I hear you say, what's next? Well, that takes you into Skyward. And from there, you can look at all sorts of things such as the gradebook, the calendar, busing, fee management, and report cards, only to name a few of the many other things on the list. You could also take a look at that My Account up, up at the top and change your password. Just make sure you write down your different password. That way, you don't come back to this video to figure out how to change your password. That's all I have, and I hope this video helped.